Have you ever felt overwhelmed by lengthy PDFs, wishing there was a quicker way to digest all that information? Well, you're not alone, and Microsoft has a solution, and it's free. So in this video, we're going to see how you can easily summarize a PDF, generate content out of it, and ask questions about it. My name is Samuel Boulanger, technical specialist at Microsoft, and in this video, we're going to see how to use Microsoft Edge Copilot to simplify how we work with PDF and save a lot of time. Okay, let's get to it. Imagine you're having a call with one of your prospects and they just released their financial statement. You'd like to mention it in the call, but it's in 30 minutes and there's no way you'll have enough time to read a 90 pages document. So for our first use case, we'll look at how Copilot can help you summarize a lengthy document and make you look like a rock star on your call. So first thing, we'll uh, navigate to our PDF, right click, and select open with Microsoft Edge. Maybe it's by default on your computer, but if like me, uh, it's not the case uh, as I'm using a reader as default, that's all you'll proceed. Then you'll have two choices. Uh, either you're clicking on the Ask Copilot button uh, on the top ribbon, or either you click on the Copilot icon to the top right of your browser, of your Edge browser, okay? Both will bring you to the exact same place uh, in the Copilot pane. So from there, please make sure you're signed in with a Microsoft account. Uh, if you're not, the context uh, or the amount of information the model will be available to use will be limited. So that means that only a part of the PDF will be considered. So by experience, uh, it's around 14 to 15 pages, depending on the, the number of words in the document. A good way to know if you have the full context is by looking at the Copilot first answer. If it says one of 10, it means you don't have full context. If it's uh, one of 30, uh, you're good. And that's as of today, uh, January 2024. It's evolving really fast, so maybe it will change in the near future. So that's being said. Now let's ask uh, Copilot to summarize the page. So you can either click on generate document summary or you can type in, so to summarize document uh, in this page. So here is a summary of part one of the current page. The page is a letter from the CEO of Microsoft. Uh, the letter reflects on the challenge and opportunities, highlights the company's record, etc., etc. Now, you might have noticed that it says summary of part one of the current pages, OK? Now, uh, in some cases, it will break down the document in, in uh, small chunks so it's easier for him to analyze and understand the context of your document so in that case if i want to have the full summarization of the document i'll have to ask him to summarize the next chunk uh, of the document so i'll click on view parts now you can see there at the bottom it says part two of six meaning that uh he, he separated this document it's in six uh different chunks okay and now it's summarizing the second part of uh, out of six. Uh, and now I have the financial review, issuer purchases, etc., etc. Now, this is great, but let's go a bit further. Okay, first we'll refresh Copala to start a new topic. And let's say we're uh, only interested by the highlights regarding AI as the document. So we'll be more specific in our ask. So instead of asking summarize this document, we'll Ask him to summarize this page. Okay, summarize this page. Highlighting topics related to AI. Now we'll go to the same process, but instead of giving me a general summarization of the document, it will really focus on where it, it talks about AI. Here we go. Again, there's a letter from the CEO. So our AI is powering advancements across every sector and our Microsoft is helping customers use AI for various purposes. Then it will go through all the different parts and will really highlight for you um, those AI mentions in the text. So. At this point, I really want to get my customer attention. So remember, I have a call in 30 minutes and I want to celebrate all those cool AI announcements and why not sharing it on LinkedIn? So 
that time we'll ask Copala to craft uh, a LinkedIn follow, a LinkedIn post uh, about this subject. Okay, and we'll tell him that we want it to be enthusiastic. Uh, so use the highlights, the LinkedIn post in a, in enthusiastic tone to introduce the newly uh, released 2022 annual report. Well, Microsoft 2022 annual reports is out and it's back with exciting news. So according to the report, uh, Microsoft is at the forefront of the te technological era, etc., etc. But now let's pay attention to something. Mag notice there it says searching for Microsoft 2022 annual report AI highlights. That what that means is that it didn't take the information out of this document. It took it from the internet. Okay. If I'm clicking on uh, one of those underlying uh, part of the text there, it will bring me somewhere uh, on the web. In that case still have taken the proper report report which is cool but in some cases you might want to make sure it's using information that comes from out from your, your your existing document right in that case we'll have to uh, recreate the prompt and we'll ask him based on this document craft a linkedin post in an enthusiastic Tell to introduce newly release 2022 new report. And now you can see that it's searching my page for information. It's not searching the web, right? He's, he's, he's gathering all the information from uh, the existing pages. Okay, so just be careful when you're using Copilot. Uh, if you don't specify what you want to use, uh, you might do a search on, uh, on the web. From there, you can obviously add more instructions to make sure it reflects the message you want to convey and align with your tone. You can also ask Copilot to consider only specific range uh, in the document, uh, so only specific range of pages. So please remember that the more context you're giving to the model, the more likely it will make mistakes. So it's always a good idea to limit it to only what you need. So let's say I'm only interested in the business discussions, like uh, you know the mission, the strategy, etc. We can ask Copala to find what's the range of pages uh, that is covering those subjects in the document. So let's ask what page range uh, is covering business discussion, like the mission strategy Now, it told me the part of the document, uh, which is not exactly what I want. So let's let's uh, tell him to correct himself. Now, I ask you for the page range, not the parts. Let's ask him um, So let's first ask Opala to list all the sections in the document, okay? In the current uh, page, what are the sections and provide me with page range?
So let's say we want uh, the part discussing operating segments, which is close to what we were discussing, um, the business part. So let's ask Copilot to make a summary of page uh, 20 to 23. 20 to 23. So sometimes, uh, as you can notice, it will it could get confused. So in that case, just re-ask the questions, like make a summary of page 20 to 23. And here we go, we have a summary of page 20 to 22. So basically, we'll limit the context users to generate the sensor. And now if I, I click on one of the underlying uh, information, it will bring me to some part of page 20 of the PDF. So just be careful, it doesn't take into account the numbering of the document itself. It will take the number of pages in the document, which in that case, the page 20 of the document, because probably uh, it will include the, the cover page, it will include any blank page that th there might be in the document. Uh, now, the page 22 equal to the page 18 in the document. So just be careful with that. But other than that, you can see uh, it's, it's a really powerful tool to help you uh, asking questions or summarizing the document. So quick tip, try to be more precise than the example I'm doing right now because there's high chances the model might skip a part you're interested in if you don't tell him what you're looking for. Uh, an example of that will be make a summary of page 8 to 28, uh, focus on the announcement related to AI and the next step for the company. Okay. Uh, so it, it's, it's far more complete than what I just use as example. Um, so just keep that in mind. So the more you're giving clear instruction to Copilot, the more you'll get the expected result. Now I'm on the call and the prospect is mentioning their new strategy uh, in gaming. Unfortunately, I didn't hear uh, about it. So again, let's use Copilot to save the day and ask questions based on our document. So based on this document, what is Microsoft strategy regarding gaming? So according to part eight of this document, Microsoft's strategy regarding gaming is to provide a variety of entertainment to a unique combination of content, community and cloud, etc., etc. Last bit of advice, I don't suggest asking questions related to numbers uh, or that are stored in table at the moment. I, after several tests, it seems the information was inaccurate, so I will assume that with time it will improve. But as of now, January, January 2024, uh, I personally won't suggest it. That's all, folks. So I'm always curious uh, to learn how others are using those tools. So please don't be shy to drop a comment and tell me how you're using it. Uh, also join our tech savvy community by hitting subscribe and don't forget to like and share if you found this video helpful and if you haven't tried it yet i also recommend you try copilot for mobile application uh, it gives you all the same features as copilot and edge but on ios and android so if you want to see how it works with a real life use case i also made a video showcasing how powerful it is simply click on the next video which might be there or there not sure so until next time, see ya.